Come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits? The Saturday Night Freak Show. <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. Coming your way every Saturday. You're like a chainsaw right now. <laughs> that, that, was, that was your intro. That's what that sounded like. That was like, yeah, when you pull to start your alarm. Right. Hey, 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 hey. That's what you sound like. Colin needs to get primed before he starts yep. up, apparently. Yep. He's, it really, and he's, it is a, it's no, a quick pull. No, I feel like he he's, is dead silent I feel calm like he's, before this starts. No, I feel like he's shifting gears halfway through. Yeah. 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 Well, I don't know where to go from there. It's about, uh, much of, you know what the, the deal is with this. Uh, you know who we are, what we're doing. Well, we should still introduce. This right, is the internet so. radio superstars. Holly. Sean. Michaela. And I'm Laredo. And tonight <laughs> we're watching we're a movie that was chosen by. Michaela. What have we watched? What do we experience tonight? How long was this movie? Well, okay. Yeah, we so watched, many questions. We watched <laughs> Orphan. 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 Okay. From the year. 2009. Mm, directed by. Juame Colette Sarah. There we go. Yeah. There it is. How do we okay. know Juame Colette Sarah? Um, oh, here we go. Let's let's story yeah, time, let's guys. Let's do this. Uh, first of all previous episode house of wax yes. movie okay. he did before the, this now, seminal horror movies yes. of the 2000s we did, yes. 2005 yes. <laughs> the seminal the collection the definitive horror movie of the odds yes it was we decided that was it it's now, law it's, before, it's not yeah. up for debate before this you, is a fact before you just said that I hadn't I didn't remember what else he directed and I was waiting oh, here, for we're it. gonna go on a journey now okay, okay. Oh, so, yeah. no, oh, take us there yeah, he, yeah, he yeah. said he said I want to do some horror for a little bit so, yeah. he, so he did okay. house of wax then he did this movie orphan um do you remember the tv show the river no, no yeah. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. found footage remember. horror TV yeah, show. It was really Penway, good. Yeah. yeah, it was oh, really good. It was really. Yeah. Um, he uh, on Fox? he directed. Yeah, yeah. he directed. Oh, I knew it. It's yeah. always on Fox. <laughs> he directed. They also did Murder in Small Town X. If you haven't seen that, check that out. And didn't Steven Spielberg produce The River? Okay, yeah, we're getting oh, okay. damn. All right, The Shallows. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah oh yeah, yeah. But then he said, you know, I'd really like to do. Wait, he directed The Shallows. Yeah, like the. Blake Lyons? Yes. Yep. Oh, yes. okay. And then he said, you know, I'm kind of over this, and I would like to do um, generic <laughs> sleepy old man action movies with Liam Neeson. Generic. Yeah. So oh, he so did. did like, walk uh, 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 <laughs> let me get to it. Unknown, nonstop, run all night, and commuter. Whew. I saw nonstop. I think those in are theaters. all the same movie, right? They, they are I the saw same nonstop movie. Yeah. 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 I think, and does he have a movie coming out? It well, and I was going to say, then he said, I'm done with Liam Neeson. I want to work with The Rock. Because he, yeah. jun- he did Jungle Cruise. Oh, okay. okay. And he did All Black right. Adam. Oh, <laughs> did he do Black Adam? Yes. Okay. Wow. You know what? Bravo okay. to this yeah. man for, yeah. like, That's... if nothing else, if aside from what he produces, moving the fuck up in his that's, career. No, the, I feel like that's the opposite of what we say all the time on this. What the fuck are you talking about? We always talk about how we hate how people do horror yeah. and they get launched into doing Marvel movies and now you're like, good for him for debating it's, I mean, it's, it, but, No, but it seems like that's what he wants. <laughs> like, he's going up that way. I was more or less going to say, wow, what a spectrum. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, let's go with the, that Yeah, way. he's what dabbled a, in a little bit of everything. Yeah, well, we really were talking cares. a little bit wow. off mic that, like, Warner Brothers, because these are Warner Brothers movies, and Warner Brothers has like this factory. Like I know we say Universal Studios was like the horror movie place mm-hmm. of the you know ye-, ye olden days, but Warner Brothers really is that now. Because oh, even yeah. from this movie, I'm like sitting there going like, oh, Vera Farmiga's in this, yeah, and the guy who wrote this. Uh, yeah, yeah. The writers. <laughs> Who are the this writers is, okay. of this movie? The writers are David Leslie Johnson and Alex Mace is like the story by. by- Okay, and they kind of work together a lot, and then yeah. this director also dips in and out. This team also reunited for Red Riding Hood. I know you guys all <laughs> love that movie. Oh, wow, the Amanda Seyfried Amanda movie. Seyfried. Oh, that, that one. Was, that like, with, with, Leonardo, Oldman, with Gary Oldman, which Leonardo DiCaprio also produced in addition to this movie. Happy in a way. We're so this is like the spider webbing of all these different <laughs> weird corners of Hollywood. Gary Oldman was in that, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But wow, they that also was, that was a. It came and went and flat. Yeah, and you just yeah. remember the because it was flash? the director of Twilight. It was supposed to be Catherine nice Hardwick. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then so David Leslie Johnson also directed Wrath of the Titans, mm-hmm. oh, Conjuring. No. Or he wrote. Heroic. I'm sorry, okay, wrote, wrote Wrath of the Titans, Conjuring Two, Aquaman, Conjuring the Devil Made Me Do It, and <laughs> several episodes of The Walking Dead, like okay. three yeah. seasons worth of The Walking I think, Dead. Has everyone written an episode of The Walking Dead? Yeah, but this guy's written like thirty. Yeah. So okay. All right. we'll I, I only wrote two. And then Vera Farmiga is also in the Conjuring. Movies. Movie, yeah. So this is like this is the six degrees of separation yeah, because movie. they yeah. do. I, I think we were talking about this on other episodes. They bring these guys in sometimes. Like you can be like a short horror film director. You can be 
in James Wan's case, known for actually doing horror. Right. Uh, uh, Colette Sarah mm-hmm. uh, had done uh, his first movie was House of Wax, right? Yeah. For Warner mm-hmm. Brothers, yep. right? And so then his they career all get is so kinda... interesting how you can see where it starts and stops like yeah. that, and, and they yeah. move through like the machine of like, that, well, we're going to put you in this and put you in charge of this, and then up to their big like, you know, James Wan got his Aquaman or right. Fast uh, Seven, Fast se- yeah, Fury Seven, Fast Seven, one of, one of them. and then uh, this guy got Black Adam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, so it's like I just hate that you, James Wan got his Fast Seven. That's not, yeah, <laughs> I know. Well, he That's came not, back though. He came back. He redeemed himself. No, he I know, I know. You know, but, you know? yes, so, I mean, but you just the way you say it, it sounds like it's such an achievement. I, you know, I, like that movie. The story I like to tell myself is that those are like paychecks so that he can make things like Malignant, yes, right? Like yeah. absolutely. He's like, absolutely. I'll do this fast, whatever movie, so that you can I can prove I'm. Ex- success and yeah. I can make yeah. movies that make you and money. I can do two Aquaman yeah. movies. Yeah. And, and then that's you let me make whatever I want. Of, that's Hollywood's version of pulling a double. So yeah. Didn't, extra yeah. Cash. Yep. Didn't I well, hear... this time and a half, I guess, so yeah. that I can, you know. Isn't there like, what I think, I think he's actually invested in those Aquaman movies. Mm-hmm. I mean, oh, but yeah. didn't Seems I hear, like um, and this might be like hot off the presses, but I heard oh. I can't remember if it's Warner or Universal is trying to do this now. They're actually trying to merge uh, Blumhouse, and Blumhouse and James Wan. Blumhouse and yeah, Wan. Are I, trying I to just merge. saw that. On so Blum- is Wan leaving Warner Brothers to go to to Universal? It'll probably, How I'll fucking cool would be, that be? There yeah, will be I producers from Warner Brothers over these guys because I mean the James Wan like little universe thing that he's the Waniverse, got, the Waniverse, <laughs> right? Has all these directors like uh, well writers Gary Doberman. He's yeah. doing the new. Um, uh, Salem's Lot. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, right. And you get David Sandberg, and he did Lights Out, and then uh, yeah. he did one of the Annabelles, and then he did um, Shazam. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, yeah. so they're all. I mean, it's like this. The, the DC, trajectory's insane. DC this is why I say like they're they're gonna merge. <laughs> or, Warner Brothers will be yeah. Yeah. Uh, over this as well. But damn. It's a it's a thing, yeah. A yep. Spider web of of uh, of talent over there. It is. We it could works. spend like it three pays episodes to be in just that spider web. <laughs> I hope to be in a spider web someday. We, we could. Is spend it a like lottery? Th- is that what it is? <laughs> like horror directors just put their name in a hat. And it's like a just, key party. Oh my god! And then, yeah. Do you think it's like a key party where they're like, "Well, oh, I like, got Black Adam. He's got the next DC movie." Yeah, yeah. 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 I think, well, I think yeah, that's what they are. <laughs> Your key party has a lot less fucking than I thought there was going to be. Yeah, yeah. it's that. like it's like it's like you you <laughs> well, direct whatever movie you don't know. That. Yeah. All right, I agree on the movie. Let's fuck on it. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> but they are, I think, like using like uh, well, we'll put him in charge of this mid budget movie. Yeah. Oh and then, yeah. There's so definitely... see how he handles it up. To yeah, as the when, like you said, when movie. they put him given an Annabelle movie, I think there's less expectation for stuff like that, and we're like, well, we'll see what you do with it. It's yeah. like that. It's like going from the. It's like baseball, minor leagues, and we'll see how you do. You progress and go that. Hey, you're up to the majors. Yeah, Here's but like, though, but it's kind see. of insulting that horror is considered like a minor league thing when it's making yeah. just as much money as Marvel movies. That's you know? true. Like, I wonder yeah, if, the, if it's my the, fault for thinking that, or but the amount of like the amount of. Um, I guess resources that you're marshalling for a horror movie yeah. feels like it's on a much smaller scale than when Which you're Which should make it a bigger Adam. return on your investment. It's a bigger, in, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yes. it makes Which the money. What, oh, yeah, but I think definitely. they're looking at, can you, you know, marshal your, are you a good general to put in charge of this thing that's like a, like a massive yeah. sprawling. Gotcha, yeah. okay. You know. I like the war analogy better. Makes there more sense the, to me the than general. the general. Yeah, because you, you gotta, yeah. you go you gotta work, work to, your yeah. way up the ranks. Yeah, right. yeah, okay, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So now, congratulations, sir! You've been named general no. of Warner at uh, Warner. Oh yeah, this yeah. Guy, yeah, he's a general black guy. Yeah, Juan's like an admiral. <laughs> he is, no, he's you. definitely a general. <laughs> definitely a general yeah. at this point. Um, but his starts. his next movie is for Netflix, I think. And if I read it right, it's called Carry On. And oh. It sounds oh, that sounds like, like a Liam Neeson movie. It, but it does. doesn't have Liam Neeson in it. Oh. I'm like, was that on the Liam Neeson discard pile? He didn't direct <laughs> Orphan First Kill, did he? He did not. That's oh, a bummer. No, that is I a have, bummer. I have not seen that yet at I the have. time of this recording. I'm sure and what do we'll, you think? Did we'll you like it? Talking about. Okay. Yes, well, I did. Okay. okay. Uh, oh, all right. <laughs> but we'll talk about it later okay. as we go. Um, so, okay. So the, tonight's movie is Orphan. We're going to yes. drop the spoiler uh, the wall, bar, yeah. yep. uh, door, close it the right major now. Major spoilers. The hammer. Yeah. Uh, major spoilers are ahead. We're going to assume that everybody has. So 13 years? Uh, yeah. And I um, think. You say that as someone who had not seen it before. So you I'm have no room to judge. Good, I, have, I have no blame on myself. It's like, mm-hmm. no, I haven't mm-hmm. seen it. All right. So this but is. Okay. Tonight. So here you go. This is your opportunity to get out. 
I, I, I see what you're saying. Like, if someone spoiled it for me, I'd be like, I it's only, I have only myself to blame. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, oh, no, definitely. Yeah. Okay, this is post-spoilers. So you <laughs> went through up until this time how? Yeah, you guys, yeah. Did, you guys knowing, didn't know the plot twist? Because I thought it was well known oh, with the plot twist. I knew yeah. the plot twist. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's what I figured. I was like, it's people, out there in like pop I knew the culture. plot twist, yeah. and I've also read the sort of parallel true crime the, like story. real life story yes, yeah, I, have yeah. read, I went down a rabbit hole one day and read all well that, that was like news that yeah. was like oh, news no, that when was, that happened no, that was yeah. news because uh, of the fraud I, and all this mm-hmm. oh yeah I think that was news I was looking it up today wasn't it like a year or two before the movie was made right well maybe you should tell well, us about this okay so, where... so there's two real life cases okay so yeah. there's one that inspired this movie and that one is about um are we giving away everything right now mm-hmm. okay yeah 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 spoiler, yeah. spoiler um <laughs> Uh, Barbara Skrilova um, yeah, had like a glandular disease and disguised herself as a teenage boy and fled across borders to um, Norway oh. and then enrolled in school. Okay, guys, if you're who, this is like this the, is Twilight the Twilight problem right all over again. Why yeah. would you want to go back to voluntarily be in school? I, have I don't the, know. This, I have I, that I, nightmare I, I, I all the time. This may be just a case of like survival. I have no idea. Context, I have no idea. Um, And then, the, but like, so she enrolled in school as a teenage boy yeah. when she's a 33 year old woman. Okay, that's and, okay. Um, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, so th- she did that, and she she didn't show up for school. So the school reported her missing, and there was a nationwide search, like Amber oh, Alert, shit. for this missing kid. Damn. A nation more responsible. <laughs> yes. And it became like like a huge like oh, true no. crime story in Norway. Damn. And but then granted, it was they're like na- it's they're probably like as big as a state. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well but, yeah, this is a thing. Sorry. Still, sorry for- in a, in, well no, in a place where it's easy to do yeah, it, yeah, like yeah, we're yeah. gonna stop and search everywhere and yeah. it's the whole country. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a lot easier. And then the second one was happened about a year after the movie came out. I remember the, hearing the headlines about this. this is, but yeah. there was a family and I think they were in Indiana that adopted a girl from Ukraine oh, yeah. and yeah. they said no she's not a girl she's a woman yeah. and they're like she went through puberty and all this stuff and they straight up said that she was trying to kill the mom and be with the dad like the movie had t- they basically said the movie happened to them and they moved to Canada and left her behind in an yes. apartment by herself yes. and then uh, DCFS the came after their ass because they're like that's a child a minor that you adopted and, and you're responsible right, for and, like, no. and I I could never find an. I googled this it today. Story There's is no fascinating. answer. There's like no resolution. No, it's to this. ongoing. It's I ongoing. Think she's yeah. done it like three times before that. Yeah. Like she has a history of doing this. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know the connective tissue between each story in which she le- is with one family or with one. Well, and there seem to be another. It's crazy. Doctors seem to have different opinions yes. on how old she was. Yes. Because some were saying, no, she's like 12 and others were like, no, she's like 23. Right. There so is, like, it's yeah. a fascinating yeah, and it's story. It's still like, yeah. I check it'll Reddit every you, once in a while. It'll like, take up a day for you. But I need, I need more. I need the story to move I know, I need the full encompassing like, documentary. She's still out there. Yes. No, I need the documentary and the last interview is her. Yeah. That's like, what yes. I need. How is, the, how is Netflix not done this yet? Because it's not done. It's still like happening, right, it's still I think, happening. But So like, maybe there is somebody covering it yeah. waiting for it to be resolved yeah. I think before they so. I think, yeah. I think somebody is on this But right the fact now. that we have two instances so Someone is like this? white knuckling it until the case is Yes. Yeah. 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 Right. Well, yeah. Yeah, some cameraman is white Someone's <laughs> Someone's filing all those Freedom of Information Act stuff right now. going on right now. I have a feeling. If they are we Let's will. do it. Um, yeah, maybe we no, should make this documentary. Dude, well, we I am should. all on I board hope for this. It, I, I hope somebody is on yeah. <laughs> and it's not left up to us. But it's crazy so, that in our lifetime there's been two instances of this that we nuts? know of. That's oh, yeah. fucking nuts. It, it's crazy. Especially story. in like, uh, you know, I mean, today you figure that, you know, how would they get away with this? But Holly, you're mm-hmm. saying, uh, okay, so you didn't know what was what, what the twist no, was. No, I truly did not know what the twist was. I so, thought it was going to be tattoos. Yeah, Under, around her neck, uh, around the neck and the wrist. I, I, that's she what wears I a ribbon. No, and, I know. I, I, I knew it was going to be scars, but I'm like, but why? Like, right, yeah. yeah, like maybe your head's going to fall. Right, because oh, uh, right, no, that is what? the wall. I knew, <laughs> I, I knew we weren't going that direction. Right. It was pretty but, obvious but it wasn't a paranormal movie. It would, but it's a question that's posed right at the top of right. the movie of. Yeah, what's she yeah. hiding? I right. thought she was yeah. going to have like a electrotherapy, like oh, burn oh, scars oh, on the like side. Yeah, yeah. Like shock Ooh. therapy. Yeah, was that's what I thought the, it was going to be. The well, marketing like was it like what's Esther hiding or something like that? Oh, or, I or remember you could read it two Esther. ways. Yeah. Or, yeah. 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 Um, I remember the TV spots for this. I think they were one of the last TV spots that had the voiceover guy. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. he, he. I just remember being like. There's something wrong with Esther, and then it would just cut to her pushing that you girl know, off no, the slide, wrong and that was like it Esther. for the TV spot. It was yeah. really well done. Yeah, 
Well, it it came. I guess I when I first saw it, it was. I think I was right. The movie was working, the ripe old age. It of- did the same thing that it did to you. We're mm-hmm. like, oh, I bet you this is gonna be like she's older than she actually mm-hmm. is. Then when it happens, you're like, aha! Mm-hmm. I was right. But even <laughs> still, thirty three is like, whoa, that's really old. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. Who plays Esther? Isabel Furman. And who is she? Has she done anything yeah, else? Well, I, Just I a few like other to... things. She's been in some TV shows and stuff here and there since then. How old, and then, old, you know, old, old is she In this now. movie, she is 12. Okay. So she was 25 now. Okay. Yeah. She and did still, amazing. Still yeah. playing amazing. the orphan in the yes. new movie. Right. Um, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Have you guys seen that behind the scene photos of how they had everyone in platform shoes <laughs> to make her, to make her look yes, small? Yes, I did see that. Yeah. yeah, everyone else in the movie is wearing platform shoes yeah. around her so she looks like a kid. But I love that. I love the lo-fi approach. I love that they didn't yes. recast her. Yeah. I love that they're like, fuck it, makeup and Forced perspective cameras will get the job done. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, there's a little yeah, bit where I'm not sure if they were using like some kind of digital de aging yeah. or skin smoothing or something oh, no, like that. Oh, she definitely but looks. She's probably she a looks filter. different. Yeah. No, she you does know, look you, different. Yeah. Older, like you, 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 your form changes as you. Yeah, but it works adult. because when you're watching it, you know, you're, you're seeing her, yes. and you're not doing like a side by side comparison. No, yeah. you're really. not, and so it, it morphs in your head. As but it would have been so easy for them to just recast, and I love it. They're like, no, we'll stick with her. Like, I'm just shocked that I mean. Uh, what are we She's talking? so oh, that's, good. That's a while, right? It that's, is a while. Yeah, surprising. The like, first one and the second one. Years, you have to admire years. like the, that kind of dedication if mm-hmm. they're going to do a sequel to do that. Yeah, because I applaud them for it. This movie was a cult. Uh, I think it was like an actual hit, and then it became like a cult hit, mm-hmm. and then it's become the movie where the girl plays, you know, <laughs> right. uh, a young. Well, because yeah. I think I, I remember the kind of like slow burn in this movie because yeah, it was a huge hit in theaters, but then I remember it having like a second wave later yeah. on of like a cult following. Yeah, and I, I remember. remember I think what happened, what causes that is that people hear the twist and they think that's all there is to the movie, but yes. they miss all the little insane steps yeah. leading I, up to I the am, twist. I will say I am guilty of that. Knowing, and it gives you a second the wind. Twist, yeah. And I thought this movie was shallow to that twist. Okay. Yeah. That was my perspective mm-hmm. on this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I was, yeah. And then that's you, me. you're like, oh, she tries to give him a hand job at one point. Wow, didn't know that was going to happen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. she snuggled him with a boner. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it does have, I mean, I guess that was uh, something that I kind of, uh, you know, um, when I was watching it, I'm like, wow, they're actually spending like quite a bit of time setting up the relationship between this uh, man and wife at the beginning of the movie. And there's a lot of, um, a lot more care given to giving psychological stressors on that relationship for like, I don't know how long it is before we even actually meet, you know, the orphan herself. This family has a very like complicated tapestry yeah. of relationships and yeah. I like that which like, makes it feel it makes, real it does yeah. yeah like this is what's missing in like lifetime movies is they is that <laughs> well they, there's a lot missing in right movies. Let's but like say okay that. but the plot of this is very lifetime movie this could easily yeah. be a lifetime yeah. oh movie. yeah definitely for sure. But, yeah, for sure. it, but they take that time to make like three-dimensional characters where in lifetime movies they're just delivering the information you need, need to know is, and right. nothing it else it is odd exactly. that you can take the same amount of time maybe like an hour and 45 minutes and what you get is orphan or a lifetime movie? Yes, yeah. and the yeah. intricacies within that budget separates production. the two, mm-hmm. and that's and crazy. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. the writing has led. I mean, like yeah. obviously, yes. oh yes, definitely. you know, production pays for it to look really good. But I mean, like the the writing and the plotting in this, I thought was like. I mean, it's it's not quite, you know, like a, a Martin Scorsese movie or something like that, but it's better than, you know, like your average... Uh, it is better than. You yeah. know, I mean, I'd say <laughs> even like Blumhouse movies are very good at, uh, at, at atmosphere, style, and suspense, mm-hmm. yes. but there's more meat on this one. If they, yeah. You know, Definitely. psychological I, I, meat, yeah. there character is. stuff. Yeah. There is. I give a lot of that credit to Vera Farmiga. Oh yeah, the so, actors are great. She's yeah. amazing. Is amazing. Everyone in this movie's perfectly cast, I but her yeah. especially. For, for Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. She uh, she is so like strikingly and uniquely beautiful and she her cry face, she's got a good cry face. It's, it's, yeah. it's legitimate. Believably, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the last one I remember being like really good at that was like Tony Collette in yeah. in Hereditary, mm-hmm. like when she was mm-hmm. grieving and everything, that that was the last time I like mm-hmm. felt something similar mm-hmm. to this. Not to this intensity, but like someone who fit. For that. Mm-hmm. We gotta come up with a with like a scream queen type name for her because she <laughs> like but she's always the mom of like a possessed or homicidal kid. 
Which one? You yeah. tap Vera Farmiga. Yeah, like yeah. it's happened yeah, like eight is, times. Yeah, She's she, a horror yeah. queen like, of some I, sort. I made yeah. a list. Yeah, yeah. Joshua. Do yeah. you guys remember Joshua? No. Yeah. It's almost the same movie as this, but it's a boy. Okay. Oh, um, know. Orphan, mm-hmm. Conjuring, Conjuring Two, yeah. Annabelle Comes Home, The Nun, Bates Motel. This woman can't get oh, a fucking right. break. Yeah. 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 Uh, like so, so, we need like a bereaved like so do we stressed just, mom title. Well, so this is what I'm asking. These are horror movies, yes. Yes. So do Scream Queen. Like, do we, is that the thing? She's I'm talking no, about for her specific role, though. Right, but I want to. Yeah. It's not a I want to group her into a, a group I understand. Um, but, that, <laughs> but I'm saying this is, but she plays a very specific role of yeah. always having to be the mom that's keeping the family together, yes. but no one believes her and everyone gaslights her, even though she's the one that has the most knowledge on the situation and her kid's always putting her through the fucking ringer. It happens mm-hmm. in every single horror movie she's in. And that is a succinct description of and, your family. And that's why I'm like, mm-hmm. this is a role that she has capitalized on and is like the pie pioneer of you well, know? I remember I mean like you know even watching this tonight it's like man when she's playing uh Lorraine Warren she's playing older than she is yes. you know yeah yeah and it, then I'm like oh, I really don't get to see Vera Farmiga actually play her own age a yeah lot. yeah she yeah. did yeah. first yeah. what did she and um she does in this movie running scared with Paul Walker I think it was like that? the first mm-hmm. time that I, I remember so. ever oh. seeing her yeah um I watch that Peter Sars- Skarsgård. Ta- Sarsgård. 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 Yeah, is also in this. He's the other half of the And couple. he's perfectly cast as this shithead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, Peter Sarsgård is always a shithead to me in movies. Your Every feelings. time I see him, I'm just like, ugh. Yeah, and <laughs> are guy. they casting him because of that? We last saw him in the skeleton key here. He was a shithead in that, too, oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, he plays these parts well. Yeah. But their chemistry, you know, we're saying is... Uh, Realistic. Is, it's very, yeah. I it's Yeah, their relationship is... Recognizable. It's yeah, very er, realistic. Early marriage. on in the movie, when we're getting to know the characters, we were all like, "I like these people." <laughs> yeah, they talk to each other like we would talk to people that mm-hmm. we've yeah. been that's, with. That's what makes this movie so work so well is that they talk like normal people. They do, yeah. and, and I don't even, think we see that. But they also anymore. do like uh, Vera Farmiga does the ticks of mm-hmm. people when you're thinking about stuff. You tap, mm-hmm. you breathe different. You're thinking about stuff. You look away. Yeah. Like she's mm-hmm. got the little. Those are kind of the keys yeah. of like mm-hmm. a good. Yeah. Like like a, a better than good actor. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. She's yeah. got those yeah. ticks that work in the scene for how she's feeling and everything. She's doing mm-hmm. it very well. By the way, uh, MF Mad, the keeper of the Saturday oh, Freak Show, also he wants us to know that we are inducting Peter Sarsgaard oh. onto the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame because he was also Skeleton in the Skeleton Key, Key. This movie. And he was uncredited oh. in yeah. The Cell as, as uh huh. Her fiance, what in a scene I don't now recall. Oh, <laughs> but Jennifer Lopez's uh, fiance, maybe, or no, okay. no, 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 one of the uh, victims' fiances. I think it was like freaked out and like, where's you know, that sounds vaguely yeah. familiar. Okay. That might yeah. be that might be familiar, yeah, yeah, because yeah, what All year right. was the cell? The cell was uh, 2000. Before... No, it I was don't know. Uh, 2000. 2000. Yeah. Oh, I was right. There you go. <laughs> yeah. All right, you know, yeah, we'll put them up there. Yeah, so they have a very um, natural relationship. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. They have a family. Uh, they there's do. already uh, two other kids in the house. How did this? Because we have the most start? traumatic cold open I was maybe say, how ever did made this movie in a movie. Start and what are we introduced when we first come into this movie? A uh, horrifying nightmare of a stillbirth. Oh my god. That I is... think we. I was horrified, <laughs> horrified yeah. at this whole thing. Me too. Bravo to the sound work in this opening scene. The way it just ramps it up is, is so disgusting. stressful. But this is a very stressful scene. That this needs a trigger warning. I, yeah. Well, also, but it also because it's so stressful, I think it permeates the rest of the movie. Like it's it's a great move to put this at the beginning because you. I think you feel it. With her for the rest, of you the make time it. You it makes you sympathetic to yeah. Vera Farmiga. Oh, definitely. Right off the bat, she's yeah. got like two like major things hanging over her. Well, three, I suppose. Right, one is uh, stillbirth of a child. Yes. Mm-hmm. Two is alcoholism. Mm-hmm. Yep. Three is because of said alcoholism, she nearly let her. I'm assuming that the, the, her that Max, her daughter, is deaf. Because of yeah, uh, yeah. That's what, yeah. an accident that happened mm-hmm. that she wasn't she there fell on the to, ice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yes. fell through the ice into the pond. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All of these, all out. of these things are going to come back. And in, in she has here. a mother-in-law that feels the need to chime in all the time on all of these topics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's another stressor. Yeah, yes, that's in-laws is. again. But Man. the great thing about this movie is that all the all that information that we just received 
isn't presented to us in a info dump. No, as some no. movies will do. It sort of it unfolds. It, it unfolds. Yeah. It unfolds in yeah. this movie in yeah. a way. Like, well, that was the thing too, because we also learned that uh, there's been infidelity on Sarsgaard's yes. part in the past. But like that information is kind of given to you, and I was like, okay, is this kind of a cliche? But I'm like, all right, this is or they're setting up that the he's made mistakes and she's made mistakes, and so that but they've somehow managed to build the, you know mm-hmm. this foundation. Despite all that, yeah. Yeah. but the way that it was presented to me, I was sitting there going like, well, it, it, they are just doing it like as you, you would bring it up in conversation. Yeah, I was going to say, it's yeah. very natural the yes. way the, it, they just brought it up like with the the trampy mom at the park flashing her cleavage everywhere. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. This MILF with her 80s yeah. implants. Yes. I want to see the casting call for that part. And the, yeah. what did it right? say? <laughs> and the way it comes up and it's just like, oh, you didn't tell me that you saw what's her face at the park. Yeah. And he's like, because I know how you'd react. I'm like, this is this perfect. Is re- well, and yeah. I, this es- is real. Especially the information about the affair. She, he was like, that was 10 years ago. And she said, but it's only been two since you told me. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. was a good way of that giving a- us a time frame. Yeah. Yeah. And, and none of yeah. this has been brought up before. This yeah. is like yeah. the scene the, where you're finding that the dialogue the, felt the, yes, so good. The re, the, he does so good in revealing things in conversation between mm-hmm. these people, mm-hmm. yeah. which makes it in a horror movie and makes you interested in the conversations between right. the characters, yeah. which when you're going yeah. to a movie like this, maybe you're not looking for that, but this movie gives you that and it's very nice. It's, it's it it's so natural. It just yes. has a nice flow to it. So much so that the, the moment we do get an actual like exposition dump, we're all okay with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah right. Yeah, we yeah. all know it. We're like, yeah, okay. We Especially because it's like moving it's on. CCH Pounder giving a yeah. lot of it too. Yeah, so it's like, was, she's like, all right, I'll yeah. take it. Like, okay. Yeah. I was just disappointed they didn't hire uh, Vincent D'Onofrio for the, the <laughs> for part the of blind. the psychiatrist. Oh, yeah, that, that would have been awesome. Yeah, that would have been yes. The blind psychiatrist was. Isn't he blind in rings? Like usually he's blind. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. D'Onofrio, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. D'Onofrio, yeah. yeah. It's Carl Roden in this one. Yeah. From, yes, it is. Uh, from Hellboy. I'm just going to keep throwing yeah. that out there. And Frankenstein's army. Uh, anyway, um, so they adopt a precocious little... <laughs> okay, but the way they adopt... <laughs> okay. I wouldn't so, call her precocious. <laughs> uh, so they, they go to... Um, they basically go to the uh, the, the it, child it, store. They go to a, it's a, it's a, it's a home it's for girls day at the orphanage. Yeah, it's, it's a home for girls, and I feel like any. I'm pretty institu- sure it's a Black Friday sale. <laughs> <laughs> Everything must go. I feel like every institution that has home for in the name just never sounds right. Yeah. Right? Like if it's if it's got home for in the name, it's not a good situation. You yeah. know, like but. All the all the you know uh, desirable kids are up front, and they're like part. Yeah. They're like hanging out, socializing. They're happy. They're and, running around. They're and playing. Peter Sarsgaard does the first unadvisable decision he does is goes wandering through a girl's home on his own. On his right. own. Yeah. Looking see, like a pedophile. Well, yes, like it's weird that you guys choice. all saw that because I didn't see that at all. Like the either time that I've watched this, so oh, it's interesting. No, but to go like, no, 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 no. no. Here, but here's, but the no, thing is, though, like, myself, we're if not. I was in a. If yeah, I was in a situation, I'd be like, I'm not. I will. I'm. No, yeah, I'll like, stick right here. We're not watching it thinking that he's got bad intentions. We're watching it thinking like you're going to get in trouble. Like he's an idiot because yeah, he doesn't realize how this comes off. I know. That's what I'm saying. I didn't take it that way, but it's interesting to hear that it can be interpreted. Yeah, strange man wandering through a, ho- yeah. a home yeah. of a bunch of underage girls. Yeah, it's now, a I, good I look. Don't, I don't know much about orphanages, but <laughs> are they actually, like, is this a thing? Like, is this... Don't, are they anymore? Is, is I don't this think a they thing? are anymore. Uh, they I, have, I, like, the sale day? Do they, the parents are coming by and they I show want, up No, the I mean, like, well, just, no, the, just, the, just, just the constitution anymore. of an orphanage. Like, does it still exist? Still I imagine, thing? like, foster homes have mostly replaced. I figure it's mostly yeah. foster homes. Well, this homes. is what I'm saying. Well, but you adopted we, a kid. You tell us. Did no, you go to an like, orphanage? I, no, foster homes all the way. No, I don't think... You didn't roll up to... You didn't go to Black Friday sale to help the boys. He was the foster home. If some small town in Iowa... Okay, where did have an Where'd orphanage and from? they're not inclu- it's not it's like a town that's not incorporated so they still and have, they have the home for uh yeah, the home for wayward boys yes stuff like that <laughs> like does that still exist yeah. some deep sh- somewhere if any, if yeah. you don't know we definitely don't well, yeah. saying, like, saying, we don't live in the yeah. deep whatever <laughs> right we, now okay yeah. we still live in a city we have, I know, like, but you adopted a child so you you know the deep one like i'm not pulling kids out of the Fucking whatever, right? Is there still like, like the is still civilization? Is there still like the Bruce Wayne funded like eighteen I mean, hundreds right, yeah, home? Yeah. Like I no. imagine if they do exist, they are probably unfortunately religiously funded like this one. Like I don't, I imagine yeah, that they could this be is funded by are. Bruce Wayne Foundation. Nah, that's I don't, I don't see our billionaires, no, no billionaires doing those things. Yeah, uh, yeah. 
Yeah, in, in our real world, they don't do things They're like that. that. Yeah, I don't think our, our, our. I don't. Look. I haven't heard of the Elon Home for Boys, so you know. Oh no, <laughs> yes, might be Let's, out there. Uh, you know, you gotta go do, look it. do it. I dare you. That's, not gonna, that's how he builds. His that's army. not going to benefit him at all. It's not happening. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, okay. So <laughs> they adopt this girl and yeah. bring her the, home. Do they fully just adopt her? Like, yeah, I think it's a test run kind okay, of, but it's they adopt her. The papers. They adopt her because Peter Skarsgård needs to know what they have in the back at this orphanage. Oh yeah, he doesn't want the kid. to Kids up front. Like, oh, this is nice he, up here. He wants the scratch and dent section of yeah. IKEA. <laughs> he, the artistic like, one at the back. You yeah. know, right? Little dented, but you know, pretty mm. good. She dresses like a doll. She's yep. Russian. She Yep. Um, she wears the doll. ribbons on her wrists and her neck. Yep. And I was wondering at the end of the movie, because she refuses to kind of dress uh, with, you know, modern, I guess, mm-hmm. you know, when she goes out yes. uh, into school where obviously she's mocked by the kids and all that. Um, I was wondering if it was because if you actually did put her in jeans, you know, she would look her age. Pro- oh, yeah. <laughs> well, probably, yeah. But the, but the, yeah, yeah, probably. Most likely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so she begins, so, I mean, there's, there's a little bit of, uh, you guys are bringing it up and I thought of this heavily the first time I watched it, the good son. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes. Oh yeah, definitely. That, Great double feature with the good uh, son. Yeah. You get that but, move, that feeling. The good son's been on my list to bring for a while too. Oof. We'll have to, it's another, and that and, takes place at winter too. It is snowing constantly yeah. in this movie. Yes. It is, oh yeah. This is a winter movie. Son? What? Did, Did we do the good, good like son? Like way back in the ago? day? Maybe. No, no, no we, have we have not. We have not. Um, just, just quick update. Um, yeah, orphanages do not exist anymore, but okay. there is a group home. Oh, okay. That sounds that worse. That, okay, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that sounds that's, way worse. You know, like, 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 foster, like foster system group yeah. home. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah all right. I mean, that, that's where we've yeah. gone. Okay, good <laughs> yeah. to know. It sounds pretty tragic. Moving on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I was wondering what was going I'll tell on. you this. Uh, <laughs> ad- adoption agencies were not happy with this movie. They were offended by it. Oh, really? Uh, it, yeah. it was adoption of bad names. I understand this, because they because there's so much... Trying to fight against the image of of uh, foster home kids being damaged or something wrong with them, like yeah. that image is something they're just like, oh. They, 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 they were specifically upset by the line that like it must be hard to love ado- an adopted kid as much yeah. as your own because that was in the trailer yeah. and then they cut it out of the trailer because people damn. were so upset. Yeah, that's by a it. tough one. So, they, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. you got to make a horror movie out of something. Yeah, you know exactly. I, mean? hey. I guess like, it's they're upset is, that it became really popular, and that I can understand. It's like when something becomes really popular, it becomes like a lightning rod, and everybody's oh, sure. looking at it, and they're right. not looking at the small indie comedy over here. <laughs> you but know? like or Johnny Knoxville adopts a kid, oh, yeah. <laughs> go on adventures. But as we talked about, we only know of two people that this has ever actually happened to. So like the odds are in your favor on this. If you, you, know, I, it, you know, now that you're saying it about that, uh, the the second that second mm-hmm. case that you mentioned, yeah. I remember an article that referred to it as. As like the orphan, you know, they were yeah. like out oh, of the yeah. movie yeah. Orphan. They, yes. They, yes, they have been likened in the media. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, so she uh, is a little psychopath manipulator. Oof, but she's good at art. She can play piano Yeah, really I was well. going to say, this little bitch is well accomplished. Yeah, <laughs> she, yeah she is. She's very talented. She's like a child yes. prodigy. Well, a, a adult <laughs> well, woman prodigy. She would be a child, a child prodigy <laughs> if yeah. she was a child. Yeah. Yeah. She's just an accomplished woman. Yeah. 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 She's, she's, well, she's what a else boss she bitch. Very yeah. accomplished woman. She's girl <laughs> boss. This, yeah. This, all right, from now on, this, <laughs> this the, is the girl boss movie. This is the perspective we look at this movie from. <laughs> She's a very accomplished woman trying saying, to get she, through life. I'm just saying, yes. if she was working as a spy, we would love her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all, it's all Again, about where she directs these talents. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. it. There's yeah. something in yeah. there. There you go, yeah. yeah. That's the porn. Well, she's yeah. uh, oh boy. She's putting these kids like you know uh, against each. Well, I guess she's trying to pit the parents against each other. Maybe we're not yes. entirely sure what her motives are there because we don't understand yeah. that she's you know thirty two years old. Mm-hmm. Um, so she begins ingratiating herself with the kids. Well, I guess the boy doesn't like her. No, uh, he's but, like she's a freak. Calls her the our yeah. Word he is bunch. yeah. He is an, of an age where he's just like fuck everybody. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So but she, she she does wear like turn of the century clothing. She and, does. Yeah. She she doesn't try to blend in. No. And then well the, and they make a point of it in this movie um, because Vera Farmiga is just one, like no like to be yourself. That's what you need to be. Don't worry about what other people think. So she's you know mm-hmm. she uses that she against takes it too her. far. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Well, they she's she's trying to find leverage, I think, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, like, always. It, the dynamic is interesting because the the little girl she um you know is like I'm going to be your big sister, 
Like, I love you. I'll protect you. Yes. Right. As I kill people in front of you, Ooh. you're not going to tell me. I'm going to give you and- so much trauma. You'll never be able to live a normal yeah. life. Yeah. yeah. That, that I'm the only one. Because if you, I think if you, if you fill that kid's life with trauma, the only one they can express that trauma with is the person they were, would be mm-hmm. her that they were with. Yes. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's how, that's how cult and uh, yeah, abusers are. Yeah. Like, yes. You understand oh, yeah. my trauma it's and you're trauma the bonding. only one I can yeah. talk. Oh, <laughs> and plus she's, you know, like I love you and a lot of yeah. hugs and kisses and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. it's like, you know, this is oh. a person who's going to take care of me. So we're, you know, always, this little girl's well, great. And she, this, this little girl <laughs> actress is phenomenal. Oh, yeah. She yeah. really is. And she, but like, do you think that Esther, like, picks her as the one to bond with because she thinks like oh she won't tattle on me because she's deaf like I think do, do you think that there's the like youngest she has leverage over her yeah. Yeah. to bond yeah. with her and, and she does bond with her because she learns sign language with her with mm-hmm. where I, I her do. brother doesn't know it yeah, yeah. yeah. It is, well I, I also question her strength like <laughs> in, in this sort of picking a sidekick in this like uh, I, I question her ability to Pull bodies off the side of the road, but well, yeah, we'll, we'll yeah, there's yeah. two of them. Yeah. You know, well, uh, how old is she? I think I, just from her initial meeting, I think she can tell that she's going to be the easiest ally of the yeah. two. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's true. She does like uh, run out I'm to sure, hug her as yeah. soon as she sees her. Yeah. Right. I'm sure she will try and gather out any ally she can yeah. in her and plan, but this There was be, the whole yeah. setup of am I going to get another sister? Like right. always yeah. wanting to read the sad the book about miscarriage. To, to manipulate. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And she has done this before because we learn later that, I mean, she has a history, right? Like Seven bodies in her wake before, <laughs> oh, before she gets to this house. Yeah. Wow. That's where her body count was before she got here. This Keep your records. Prolific. People. And what her last house, I guess, which was Burned the, to the ground. Uh, the ground. Was, but was that the uh, Sullivan, uh, Sullivan house? Sullivan? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Burned down. I think that might be. She was the only one who survived. Prequel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. And she has a little Russian Orthodox Bible that's full of it's uh, all black. Like the pages are black. And yeah, she's got pictures of guys. My like, three dads. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Literally three different dad <laughs> pictures dads in, there. in there. Yeah, Ooh. like dads cut out of like family photos. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Her targets. So I guess the the thing. So you know, it's like so. Well, <laughs> she right? she does have. So she is interested in dad, right? Like sexually, that her, that's what we get like to. sexually interested in dad. There's a scene early on which is just creepy, but you don't understand. Yeah, maybe it's more creepy because we don't understand like what the hell's going on. But it's all like they never verify Amiga and Peter Skarsgård so, have so. Uh, a very you know physical relationship, right? They do I mean, it's a se- wait, okay. you know what? It's a sexy relationship. Yeah, it's a sexy I, this relationship. Movie, you know what? Sexy. Yeah, verify Amiga in this movie. Sexy. Yeah, I think purposefully. Yeah, mm-hmm. sexy. But they never get to actually like do it. Yep. Because uh, uh, the kitchen scene. Well, they're yeah. interrupted. Okay, well, yeah, uh, the, There's a full on sex scene. Like, they, they, they interrupt get, us. They get no, to they're do fucking. It. They just don't. They yeah. get interrupted. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But, yeah. There you go. Okay. Yeah, but there, well, 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 I think what uh, Colin's saying is that there's no. Uh, well, there is no finish to. There's nothing in this movie to unite them. Not even the sex. Like the, even that is interrupted in this. Yeah, they don't get to yeah. finish and be right. together. And but, yeah. but she's interrupting them specifically because she's uh, she doesn't like right. no, right. Right. no 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 no. Right. She wants yes. the guy first. We need to back yes. up a little bit though. Oh, yeah, okay, so we this do. this house is like this. He's an architect, and this yes. house is like yeah, Sounds an architect just arc- going fucking house. nuts. Like it's yeah. open floor plan where you can and everything kind of twists around and uh, yeah, lots there's of a staircase in the middle. There there's a like a sunken. You can see through everything. There's a staircase that goes up. You can see through everything. There's a whole wall that is a bookcase, mm-hmm. and it's it like, is, but everything's yeah. angular and minimalist. Um, and it's very right. nice, and it's really it, it's, it's beautiful, beautiful house, beautiful house, beautiful. But I would get so annoyed with that fucking kid playing guitar here. Right I in know the, the house, Oof. yeah, that would drive yeah, me crazy. It's not a house meant for children. No, it's, it's not. <laughs> it's not a house. It's really a house not. meant for reflection. <laughs> yep. Yes. And so. They, there's, they have a rule of no locked doors in the house, which just comes is important. Yeah. Yes. Um, oh, yes. Which I'm like, I. Sometimes there should be locked doors, and a time is when you're fucking your wife, like. Because okay, they, well, they leave oh, the bedroom. Oh, do- I agree. They leave the bedroom door unlocked, and the kids come in while they're in the middle of fucking, mm-hmm. and 
That happens. Then the kids crawl into bed. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. This is a different situation, John. This is this movie. <laughs> this is a 33 year old woman posing as a child snuggling up to her adopted dad with a boner. Like, okay, this yes, is a different, different situation. <laughs> yes. I agree. And so, yeah. And then she, like, this is the first inkling we get that she's, like, mm-hmm. yeah, sexually she attracted her, to him. Sleep, what does she say? I want to sleep next to daddy? Yeah. yeah. And okay. then she, like, spoons and, him uh, while he has yep. a boner. He yep. was just inside his wife, and now his. <laughs> It's a fucking daughter. You shouted. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like, this is well, all I happening so fast. Like, <laughs> and that's the first sex scene. And then later oh. on, they're putting, you know, when you when you're unloading the dishwasher and you just like oh, yeah. sexy, you yeah, get yeah, turned yeah. on by sexy, unloading the dishwasher. All right, it is the sexy. Is it has that never happened to you? Because yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? You're bending over to get dishes out of it. Like it's the one of the sexy yeah. She slaps his butt. In the yeah, kitchen. yeah, I know it's happened. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> I if agree. You're with do you. sexy things in the kitchen. This is one. But of maybe you shouldn't do them in an open floor plan. When kitchen, you have three children three kids in the house, have at least yeah. two walls. Yeah. It's yeah. like, oh no, no, they're asleep. Uh, yeah. no, and they're, like, not a movie called they're Orphan. They're never asleep. Not. And like, <laughs> this isn't even just like unzip your pants and like quickie. Like he gets no. fully naked. He's she takes too. her He's shirt like, oh, off. Shit, yeah, yeah. 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 And they're, they're all up for this, but I like that. I like that the time. I think a lot more time is dedicated to kind of the the sexiness and the setup of the scene and all mm-hmm. that stuff. I think it would have been a lot quicker in a not as well made horror movie. I think it would have been much more forceful on that as instead of loving, which it felt like in this Mm -hmm. before they got interrupted. I like what they did in this. One of the complaints that I've read about this movie is that the pacing is too slow and you could trim stuff out of it. Would you cut those scenes out? No, no. That's the stuff that makes me care about these people. No, it makes me like these people. Like even, even the people who make the, the bad decisions at the end were just like, no, I don't agree with you. And like, Go watch moments, a, I like, like I said, go watch a, a Lifetime movie if that's what you yeah. want then, because that's what they are. And I understand that like it's, it is a longer movie, but it doesn't feel long. No, no I'm invested mm-hmm. in yeah. the, in whatever they're doing. Mm-hmm. Like Every scene we go to, I like what they're mm-hmm. they're talking about. I like what's going on. Like yeah. Yeah, I don't care. I never felt the length of mm-hmm. this movie. No. Mm-hmm. Like, this was, yeah, I was with them <laughs> as we were going, you child, you. <laughs> <laughs> every time. <laughs> Every time, Holly. <laughs> Length. I'm trying to make sure we hit all the major points of what she does. Because so Daniel, the son, is, shoots a pigeon with a with a paintball gun, does, and it doesn't yes. die. And she's like, "Well, you got to put it out of his misery, bitch." And he won't do it. And then she drops a rock on this thing, and the way it fucking explodes. Like props to the prop master because they, they really like, went the distance well, like, with this wow, pigeon. Pigeons don't do that. Yeah, no, do you. not combust yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah, but good for you yeah. for your movie. Yeah, I don't know if you slam a big rock. On it, in my yeah, but it I was mean, like a water balloon popped. That thing just. Um, oh, that's a bloated pigeon. Yeah, there was a lot of blood in that pigeon. Yeah, like and he was made for it. I'm trying to think what have what the next thing she does after that. She has so she well, has her creepy Bible. And well, I mean, like she, what she lords over the little girl is she makes her an accomplice to murder. Yes. Oh, CCH. Well, Pounder. Well, CCH Pounder is like. Oh, is the CCH non- Pounder? Go back. Is on the, the wall. Idiot. It turns out oh! we're inducting into the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame. Oh, Welcome. Damn. Because she was also in Tales from the Dark Side, Demon Knight, or Tales from the Crypt, Demon Tales Knight, Tales from the Crypt, Demon and yes. and you remember her award-winning performance in End of Days. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. <sighs> <laughs> um, so welcome. That's right. The did, yeah. is did, in the I did. Oh, you yeah. did. I was I like, did. did I bring? No, you brought yeah. that. I did. Okay. Yeah. Um, so now she's got the little girl, right? She's a it's nun. Like, you yeah. know, you can't. She's oh, nun, sorry. Yeah. CCH Pounder's a nun. Was the nun yes. she, she's starting to piece it together. She's like, there's something wrong. She literally, she's a the nun who line. did yeah. not do her research into this child. Yeah. Nobody Because she thinks they, that uh, what her family died in a fire. And so yeah. then she came to this orphanage. Mm-hmm. But it turns out she may have come from another orphanage, but nobody can get a hold of that one. Yep. Right. And then that orphanage out, is not an orphanage. I like the thing that, yeah, she keeps this Bible. Esther mm. does that mm. has like the you know logo of the Sarn Institute in it. Doesn't so that's it? The I didn't clue see that. Yeah, that okay. finally leads us to like that makes sense. This is a this is a mental hospital, mm, right? <laughs> and yeah, it's revealed escapee. on a phone call, phone yeah, call yeah. later in the movie. Yeah, because we got to do our detective work. It has. Yeah. That, oh yeah, that oh portion. yeah. There is yep. there is detective work in there. There's some which, fun googling. Children who kill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys ever really just Google? There's a montage. Way to put yourself on a watch list. Jesus <laughs> right. Christ! To use a private browser. 
Krauser woman, children who kill. Like, yeah, there is. And a, that was after she was searching like personality disorder, like yeah. you know, yeah, all this other stuff. It's like, oh, the well, paper she, trail you're leaving. Woman. You were saying the thing. The other thing is that she does. She uh, she gets leverage on the 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 ki- the other kid, mm-hmm. the son, by um, he may or may not have witnessed, you know, the murder. Uh, so she wants to yep. find out. So she yeah. like comes up to him all Russian mafia style mm-hmm. in the middle of the night. With yep. Oh, she does. A yep. box cutter. Grabs his head with a box cutter to his neck. Like, yep. what did you so see? he's not going to say anything. But I mean, I guess it's an, it's these kids trying to like they aren't even really trying to get the parents' attention because they're in of the mindset that like we can't even tell them. They're like, we can handle it. No, <laughs> they try like, to do it gonna, themselves. They're like, we're going to die. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is their thing. Just we like, can't I, tell mom and dad because no. they can't do anything about it. Yeah. There's moments in this where Esther like totally has the upper hand on Via Far- Vera Farmiga yeah. because, and she's just telling her like, "This is we're, we're past play." Right. Yeah. This because, is right, what's yeah, actually right, going the on. Conversation <laughs> when they meet is just like uh, the any false. Uh, fa- any facade that's up is gone. We're yeah, just talking because she's to each destroyed other. her credibility. I guess yeah. right. Mm-hmm. She sets things up so it looks like slowly. Uh, you know, Vera Farmiga has attacked her. Like she, the one. Oh, was the like, break, breaking her arm. When, oh yeah, when she grabbed. Yeah, but that was because of the. So oh. they, they had the the oh. stillborn kid. There's so this, much in this. Movie. This it, this gives me the chills because it's so bad. Like it, yeah, it was, it's so like, this time uncomfortable. I was like, Jesus Christ! We yeah. all had an audible yeah. reaction to the to. That. Yeah. Right, that's so the wait, most wait, horrible wait, thing so that happened? she does. What happened? Well, the, they had a stillborn child, and yes. so they cremated uh, this baby Jessica, I think mm-hmm. it was, and mm-hmm. spread her ashes in their um, amazing in-home arboretum that yes. they've got going on there. Yeah, Jesus. they got a full-on botanical garden in their they greenhouse. Do. It's yeah. amazing. And it also, like, the these, hand that rots, yeah, rots yeah, the cradle, right, yeah. Right, <laughs> yeah. And it grows these uh, white roses, mm-hmm. right? And so that's representing, like, you know, the, yes. uh, the mm-hmm. baby. Well, this they mix the, the baby ashes just, in yeah. the dirt. Yeah. yeah. And so, yeah. so she's living through the roses. Right, right. And there's a little plaque that explains everything and mm-hmm. all that, yes. And Esther... In order to Ooh. trick Vera Farmiga Be- because, into because attacking her, Sarsgard, so Sarsgard's like, do something like, nice you for your do mother. Yeah. Nice for your mother mm-hmm. and all. Yeah. So she cuts the fucking oh. roses and brings them to her. Like, hi, mommy, I brought these to you. And Vera and- Farmiga's like. What the hit, fuck? But the way this scene, it, but the way this scene's edited and the way it's revealed is like you just see Esther walking in with her arm behind her back, so you don't know if she's like gonna stab her, if she's gonna yeah, like right. you know, we don't know what it is, and we don't see the flowers until they're like whipped in front of Vera Farmiga's sad face, uh-huh. yeah. and oh. then it's the, every all oh, I jumped everyone I was every, like, audibly yeah, no, gasped because like, no. it was just so horrible. You yeah, fucking god, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I was shouting a lot. You fucking bitch. Yeah, because there's, there's no coming back from this. Like, there's no coming. No. This is Oh, no. It's war. No. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and no, what can you which, do? Which, which gives me pause for a few things later in the movie, but mm-hmm. I give them pass. Yeah. But Well, the only thing, I guess, uh, it's frustrating, but the movie wants you to be frustrated. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. very much. Uh, Sars, Skarsgård character, um, I think, and maybe this is like where... I get where the movie has to go, but yes. like he is fucking blind to like everything that's going on. Yeah, so really it's is. basically it's trying to put his sympathies with no, oh, she's just a little girl and blah blah blah. And you know his wife is like, no, she, there's something wrong here, and nobody's mm-hmm. listening to me. And so the wife becomes the crazy person, yeah. you know? gaslit to oblivion. We, yeah, yeah. We do yeah. get to that point. Yeah, but he's just like, I mean, yeah, I think. And then when they bring the fucking uh, psychologist into it, the therapist. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. What's her name? Um, the actress, right? Because um, she's she's uh, been in I, I love don't her many oh. sitcoms. Well, I, yeah. I like her, but I I like no, her I love the actress. Yeah, wasn't she in, but she's she yeah, actually, what was yeah. her name? Um, I, oh fuck, what was she, her name? We all know her. Like I yeah. like her, but I also like her because I dislike. Her. She's very good at being she's dislikable. Yeah, because she takes like the side that there's so you know it's yeah. not the little girl. I interviewed Margo the little Martindale. girl. Yeah. Margot Martindale. Yes. yes. She's so good. Most I interviewed a little so girl good. and she's perfectly normal. It's you and your yeah. alcoholism and your guilt it, about like, this and whatever. And they did and, like, so much. So which, and I will I, say they did so much. They did so well with that character that even at the very beginning of the movie, when we first see Margot Martindale as this psychiatrist, she is not steady. And you can tell because they give her a little text. She's m- moving the pen in her hand. She's un- She's moving. She's uncertain. The way they set up that character to not be stable mm. is really good. 
then it pays off later in the movie. They give you hints and they deliver later on. Did uh, s- did Skarsgård? I guess um, he's a Skarsgård. No cat. S- Skarsgård. Sorry. Um, <laughs> so he, he. I mean, I guess it is like because he's so blind, then he has to get killed. I mm-hmm. I was kind of surprised, and you yeah. do kind of feel it because you're like be. they had like a really good relationship that like completely was destroyed and like you yeah. know he has opportunities to like you know completely walk away and do all this other stuff but he's like still he loves her you know and he's like mm-hmm. i wish that the, you know our family was still <laughs> held together mm-hmm. but esther's like uh, i want you for myself and then uh fucking oh. stabs him to death when he says he turns her down she gets all dolled up uh dolled up like i mean like she dresses like her like version of like sexy and it's Ooh, weird. Black yeah. dress and all that black stuff. dress and yeah. cuts it down to Put, her size. She does like makeup and yeah, right. heels. Yeah. She has high heels on. And this right. is when she tries to give him a handy under the blankets. She feels sorry. And she's It's very like, Russian. <laughs> it does feel very <laughs> Russian. Yes. We never lose that. She always feels very Russian so, like, in this movie. Black with the red lipstick. Yes. Very Russian. But Even she's, everything she's she does not Russian? Russian. Is she Estonian? Is that what was going Yeah, I yeah. think so. Yeah. So you, this was your guys' first time watching this. Mm-hmm. So the scene early on when she's in the in the bathtub and they're like, no lock doors. And she's like, mm-hmm. well, I'll sing. That way you'll know I'm like not drowning underwater, which I'm mm-hmm. just like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, I don't around? understand. Um, did you guys think that was going to like lead to anything else? Because like clearly she just didn't want people coming in because they would see that she was an she was adult woman. woman. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, no, that's it. I'm just like, but, uh, okay. I don't know. Well, it felt like I felt like the first time I saw this, the singing was just kind of like, like we were talking about, like there was a lot of the the fake closing the medicine cabinet fake outs in this movie. Mm-hmm. Like oh, to me, this they, felt they, like a creepy kid movie. Like they, they were did. They calling tried. out, like yeah, well, creepy kids are always doing shit like this in mm-hmm. movies, right. but this and doesn't they, mean anything. And they tried movie. to make it a thing in the movie, but then there was an open door, whatever. Mm-hmm. But then she went back to singing. And it yeah, was right. when she's she, looking for her Bible and everything. Mm-hmm. I don't know, like that scene where she was like, you know, basically, I don't want anybody coming in on me mm-hmm. while I'm in in the bathtub because they've already set up this thing that she never takes off Mm -hmm. her choker Mm -hmm. yes that's i guess what i was thinking i mean after you know what's going on it's like oh yeah she's Mm -hmm. an adult woman and you'd be able to tell but i think i was like oh she'd have to take the choker off and see what was you know that is always what you're questioning i think Mm -hmm. because it's brought up in in it works both ways keeps you from i guess going Oh, further yeah. down yes, toward the actual focus on that. solution. Yeah. Right, you're right. Because and they don't want you don't think further than that, trying yeah. to figure something else out. That is mm-hmm. true. Um Yeah, because at this point I I had my suspicions that she was a fully grown woman, but I didn't think like her anatomy was. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So I wouldn't have suspected that mm-hmm. part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we see later she's like yeah. you know, taped herself down and yeah. all that. She has, and also the teeth. Yeah. The false which, teeth. Which, the false teeth and everything, which alters her face. Yeah. She has them in, and she obviously looks younger like a child. Mm-hmm. When she takes them out, she looks very Russian. She, she's got... <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. Yeah, if you saw yeah. it, you're like, yeah, she's very well, She Russian. looks like a rough 32. Well, it's a rough, this is rough. <laughs> young These, like, 32. yellow-brown oh. teeth that are, like, nubs and just misshapen. Yeah, yeah, and, I think that's oh, it, the nubs God, yeah. it. And, like, just, like, we we, we had we, we created a backstory for her that she's been drinking, smoking since she was, like, six. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's, like... Oh, yeah. So that's, like, age lines from some Russian alcoholism vodka. and smoking, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you can see that wear on her face, which is a good change when we get to that part of the movie yeah, near the end. I really and like you need that. I like how when they're doing this info dump, they're cutting back and forth between her like upset and wiping her makeup off. And oh. I like that they keep cutting back. It's not just one scene. We keep yeah. going back to. That. I thought that was really cool. That was a yeah, good the scene. Makeup, yeah. yeah, that was creepy. Mm-hmm. We do get some scenes where she does freak out in a bathroom stall mm-hmm. as well. Yeah, so yeah, because she tries to kill at. her brother by setting his treehouse on fire. So mm-hmm. she yeah. she takes the murder Another evidence. Big event in this. She takes the murder evidence from when they hammered CCH Pounder to death on the highway and. They put it in the like high the like floorboards of the treehouse that belongs to the brother, yeah. and he's like, "I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna fucking get that evidence, and we'll, we'll solve this bitch once and for all." And, and she's, she's like, "Are you looking what, for the two steps ahead of him?" Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and then she sets the treehouse on fire, and he falls out of it and gets sent to the hospital, and they oh, say yeah. he has a severe neck injury, and he's basically like on a ventilator, mm-hmm. and we, she tries yes. to smother him. And, yeah, mm-hmm. and when we get to this point, this is where I. I uh, uh, this is a nitpick of this movie, I know. But when we get to this point, with all we know, with all the parents suspect, with all Vera Farmiga suspects of her, they are, she is 
callously left alone. Callously. Uh, she, she, Esther, you mean? Esther, yes. Yeah. She left she's alone. left, she's left with, with the, the in-law. She, yeah, she, well, the, the in-law. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the in-law is the real villain of this So, <laughs> but so real. It is, the, it, that's the, that's, so it is like real. almost triggering because I was like, yeah, I don't like this. I don't this is like too this real. woman because yeah. she's so yeah, real. but I guess the <laughs> position of the movie is trying to make it look like the gaslighting is working, yeah. right? Yeah. Everybody else is yes. like, there's nothing wrong here. There's something wrong with you. Yeah. You know, so I guess you wouldn't be, even though I see what you're saying, it's like Vera Farmiga it should be like you know uh, you gotta I'm watch her like child. a hawk yes. right because she got marches in i the suppose room yes nobody else death. would be that concerned about it but she should right be. the and fact that um uh, because we're we see the kid and it looks like she succeeded and it's a shocking moment it is <laughs> it really is so but many shocking kid on kid murder yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but the, i Oof. guess the thing i wonder if the like later we find out like well you know they were able to shock him back yeah. to life or He's whatever fine. And I'm wondering if that was like ADR covering it to like try it and to make right. it so Vera Farmiga didn't lose every, you know. Well, like every yeah, she would have lost yeah. literally, like, except her youngest daughter, yeah. I guess. Yeah. But, like, I, I feel like that had to have been, like, uh, like an audience kind of feedback thing. I could Maybe see test like audiences she, being like, you gotta give her one more yeah. kid. And you know yeah. what? Kids. And from the way they shot her waking up and everything, I gotta believe there was a version where she was strapped to that bed. It, the way, it's yeah. shot that way. Yeah. yeah. Where she would be mm-hmm. like, huh, what? And the mm-hmm. realization is a wider shot with her not being able to get up. Yeah, because they, they Based they, on they put what her happened out. before, because they're, they're very sus- suspect of Because she's Because sla- after, like, after, you know, he starts flatlining because she's tried to smother him with a pillow, yes. Vera Farmiga finds her, like, roaming the hallway with just, her diet Pepsi that we get product <laughs> placement for. And she slaps the shit over so oh hard that God. she goes, like, flying in the air yeah. into the ground. Great. It's and wonderful. Sla- it's very satisfying. Like, he, but and the, she does it right in front of like three doctors and, right, and, out of, and, and like, everybody. Oh. And that is reason enough for me to believe that they would have strapped her down. Yeah, because yeah. they're mandated reporters too. They see that shit. It's they true, have yes. to report it. Yeah. Like that's oof. But then they it, probably yeah. realize that she couldn't be strapped in because she has to answer her phone later. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. there was a yeah. lot she has to do yeah. later. So well, because we that's she gets the information. It's like Esther is actually thirty two. Then she's yes. like, oh my god, my husband's in danger. There's she's, a lot. Okay, this is the part where there's a lot going on. Yeah, because she's gonna rush back to the house. He's being seduced by. Hey, Esther. He's yeah. Yeah. There's um if you've Ooh. seen the advertisements for Orphan First Kill, the prequel, mm-hmm. right? There's a lot of this uh black light uh yes. art. And Which it I does did not kind of, understand prior to watching this tonight. Because it's used as it well, it's used as part of uh Esther is an artist. We see this as mm-hmm. we're first introduced. Very to her. accomplished. Very very, very <laughs> accomplished. Even more accomplished in the black light painting. See, this as is it it's just like see, even adapting kids like the logic, if it seems like it's too good to be true, probably is. Like they were like, Why is this kid in the back? She's an accomplished artist. She can play the piano. Why you keep her yeah, in the she's back? She's a fucking prodigy mm-hmm. yeah. at this point. Mm-hmm. But she's she's she, painted a lot of um she's got murals on the walls of 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 uh, 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 very uh, the sexual parents, very sexual stuff. She, that it's is like, like a life size mural. It's her. It's her, it's it's her, her and him yeah. and all. Yeah. That. But it's also yeah. like the fucking house burning down and everything. And all like the crimes. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. But everything. it's but it's black light paint on a regular painting. So it's like during the day like, it's this normal oh, kid oh, painting. Nice painting. And then it's just like oh fuck everything's on fire. <laughs> and it looks really cool actually. It, it, it looks like, fucking I was awesome. Like, this would be a really cool installation. I, yeah. Like if I wasn't supposed to be scared by this, this would be awesome. It's great. <laughs> the artistry in this, I appreciate very much. It's very good. Mm-hmm. Well, it uh, thematically ties in, right? The climactic battle between Esther it and... It does. They- Where's it at? On the frozen pond, I knew where? it. Even uh, the first time watching, I'm like, "We're going back there." Yep. Oh, yeah. they, they cut oh, back yeah. to we that pond. Go, there's so many. There's, there's are like, foreshadowing we have to go back shots. To all the right? trauma. Yeah. Yeah, there's all, like, well, there's like yeah, four foreshadowing shots of like feet walking across the ice. Yeah, yeah. It's like the so camera fun. just track. The, I think yeah. the first time when you're introduced to the house, it starts off yeah. on the frozen pond and goes up because we're like. Well, this is where her, you know, like yes. her, you know, or her psychological trauma started. If yes. your kid almost died in a pond, maybe fill it in. Uh, like, you guys are architects. Fence He's architect. Yeah. Figure fence. it out. Like just a fence. Do you really need this pond, especially if a kid nearly died in it? And Something. she even says, she even says, every time she looks out at it, that's what she thinks of. Well, why yeah. the fuck you have this? Do, in uh, yeah, no. Mind? If you're that like, rich, architecturally, yeah. you get rid of it. Yeah. You can. Mm-hmm. You like, have, yeah. It's just occurring to me. That, well, I mean, I guess it did during <laughs> the movie, but is this a callback to Don't Look Now? Is that like uh, anybody seen Don't Look Now? Donald Sutherland? Not for a long no. time. Okay, the little girl in the red, okay, in mm. the pond. 
Uh, okay. I don't think so. There's a mishap that hmm. changes a marriage. Yeah. Okay, ah. so... Uh, nope. Maybe a ghost. Um, <laughs> maybe a ghost. You're saying all the I'm words. Intrigued now, yeah. All the good words. Um, but Esther is defeated at the end of the movie, so she, then you're like... How is she defeated? Uh, I'm, not your, I'm not literally your fucking mommy. <laughs> Which is... Wasn't that also the ending of one of the Ring, Ring movies? Ring 2, yeah. Ring 2, yeah. Yes. I like this yeah, one better. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> And it, and but she, she kicks her so hard, her neck breaks. Her fucking yeah. neck. It's it sure awesome. looked that way. Yeah. 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 Fuck yeah. It's that's pretty awesome. That's what I want. Yeah. Yeah. And then she floats down like the shark and jaws. Mm-hmm. Sorry. <laughs> 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 to, the bottom, to the bottom of this lake. Hopefully they'll be able to recover the body. And Why did you apologize okay. to me? <laughs> I'm just. You had a problem with us uh, uh, referencing all the great movies with a bad movie. Oh, we, action yeah, USA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Action yeah. USA. So I wanted. Yeah, to but like, you said like did, the shark and jaws, not like this was jaws. There's a difference. You said like the the interplay between Brody and the no the stop it. Off the, okay. Okay. Stop it. Oh, um, we, we skipped over my favorite scene in this oh, entire shit, movie. Mm. Okay, it's early on. <laughs> It's after they have sex in the kitchen. She interrupts them. Vera mm-hmm. Farmiga goes to t- talk to her. Oh about it. yes, and she's like, "So, <laughs> listen. There's some things that adults do that kids shouldn't see, and that was one of them." That was and one of them. Already, I'm like, "This scene's fucking great." But yeah, then, that then my favorite thing ever happens. She goes, "So when like two people love each other, and Esther does this turn without turning her body, she just turns her head, and she goes, they fuck." <laughs> And I love that she she just goes straight for the matter of fact they fuck and, and, and then reaction, like, like just just like and then end scene scenes over with and I love that and then the next scene's like she's like well I don't know where she would have heard that from I'm like well she goes to public <laughs> school well, so well, yeah. right then they yeah. have yeah that cuts to a very uh, very honest very real conversation <laughs> between two people yeah one who's working and one who's like thinking out loud yeah. Yeah. and then it they're making good, the, yeah. it is yeah. they're, 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 they're maybe talking. she came from a family where they're like pass the fucking potatoes <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great so funny. That's pretty funny. Yeah. That's a great line. It's such a real person. Right. Like yeah. people. Right. I, yeah. But look, I just, every time I think of this movie, I think of that they fuck line. They fuck. Because she's just so matter of fact. She's like, they, they fuck. fuck. Like, obviously. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. it's in her accent, which it's makes like, it really she funny. Knew what she yeah. was talking yeah. about. She knew what it meant. Yeah. Well, yeah, she's, she's like, yeah, she's in middle school. Yeah, I was going to say. The <laughs> That's way, what he says, no, yeah. In this, in the way Vera Farmiga was talking to her in the scene, I'm like, she seems a little older than that. You don't have to talk to her. Her like brother she's has that, a porn a mag child. in his treehouse. Yeah, I'm just like, like you could <laughs> upgrade this conversation a few more ages, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. When I was nine, I don't think I would have known what it was. <laughs> Right, but, but but based on her being so like mature and advanced, yeah, in this she can movie, play Tchaikovsky on the piano. Right, yeah, I yeah. wouldn't be surprised. She knows <laughs> what fuck that, means. Not yeah. to say that that equates to maturity rather than skill, but yeah, you figure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, she's dead at the end of the movie, so then you'd be uh, <laughs> you'd be wa- you'd be wondering <laughs> how can they how can well, they make another dead, how can they make a sequel? Well, well it's, it's a, a prequel. Prequel. Yeah. Well, there's so much backstory and history to this. You you yeah. almost yeah. have to. Okay, so I am going to recommend that you watch. Now that you guys have seen okay. this one, I'll recommend that you see the prequel. Gotcha. Okay, because I was like, you know, what can they do? Well, we went. I think like around the same time that this came out, the boy. Was yeah. also yeah, yeah, there's, which we also did an episode on. We yep. did, but yes. this all it has that feeling, like yeah. they are similar feeling. And then there was a sequel to the boy, and that was time. that was horrible. And the sequel yes. to this is better than, okay. gotcha. well, than that. It's not as good as this, gotcha. but, okay. but it's okay. uh, mm-hmm. I would, I would say you should check it out. Okay. Okay. Um. All right. Well, I guess uh, that's uh, Orphan. I th- it is in, in 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 the limited way we can describe this movie. I think mm-hmm. like there's so much more than what we said. But yes, but we still it. have wrap ups to yeah. do, we and do. We, we can say more about it. So you're going to find out whether or not we would recommend that you'd watch Orphan. But before that, we're going to have to read some of your mail, and in order to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman, Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Do you think he came from like an orphanage or whatever he he is? Does he have parents? Well, he like, came from a lab, you guys. Come on. <laughs> well, I know he was. I didn't know his lab was, was like code word for. So he has yeah. many parents, is what you're saying. Oh, Do we yeah. have a family He's, day. I got him from an orphanage. There you okay. go. That was how he was sewn together. Where? Because where? His, his, like uh, what? The doctor. Yeah. Obviously. It was Transylvania. Transylvania. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. The doctor. They have found we checked him? his paperwork. Yeah. Have after we called the Sarn this, Institute to make sure this movie? I want to make sure this paperwork is just written in. Crayon. I want to make sure. What, no, no. I want to make sure what ages Igor is. Oh, you know oh, what I mean? Oh, like, oh yeah. Oh, right. If we did a DNA check on him, it would take forever. Yeah. 
I'd love to know where he's all from. You can collect the spit for that. Sean Mullaney. Oh, why are you going to make it sound so <laughs> gross? I'm just saying, like, I'm not doing it. I'm not going to. Who's going to swab Igor? <laughs> Sean. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Igor. <laughs> um, all right. Well, we should let the good That's folks at home know how they can uh, interact with us in this uh, uh, portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or they can follow along on Twitter. At Saturday Freak Show. I, maybe they can follow along on Twitter. Right now, we, yeah, don't we don't know, know if they can follow along on Twitter. As of right now, Twitter is still working. There's some stuff going on, so who knows? At this um, point, I don't Find us Twitter. elsewhere, <laughs> yes. <laughs> they can also email us directly. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or they can follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. About tonight's movie, Orphan. A so be deter, right, San and so I love this movie. Isabel Furman's performance is really advanced for a kid actor, a fun and ridiculous film. Mm-hmm. I yeah, it's kind of a shame she isn't more of a presence, you know, yeah. because I think she probably get got like, Oh, you're the orphan girl, you know, so it's mm, probably it's, yeah. It's, it's yeah, it is it iconic? She's all over the posters. It's I, her she face, is, yeah. She is, yeah, yeah. Orphan. She is yeah. orphan, yes. Uh, Michael Whitaker says, not to toot my own horn, but the <laughs> ending of this movie was one I called pretty early on something nice. about it was made me think of the villain from the villain Baby Doll from the Batman animated series, and it turned out I was right. Huh. That's very creepy, Baby Doll. Uh, Joey Blythe says, I love this movie, and I have been seeing Orphan First Kill is on Paramount Plus, but I haven't decided to watch it yet. Paramount Plus! There you go. Well, you heard Colin. That's right. Colin so you got one it. recommended. Yeah. If you, you liked Orphan, you should see I'll follow it. up, yeah, yeah, after I watch it. Uh, last week, we watched a movie called The Mortuary Collection. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. An uh, exploding dick, I hear. Yeah, you weren't. Yeah, don't. <laughs> you say, oh, yeah. Like, you I watched was not it, here for it, <laughs> unfortunately, but I was told. Mm-hmm. Well, Novato Judoka writes in and says, Clancy Brown is giving off tall man vibes, mm-hmm. ah. yeah, and the atmosphere of this spooky mortuary throughout this entire thing is really great. Yeah. He's good as a tall so man. Good. He to, basically like, is the tall on. man yeah. in this, yeah. He's so good. great in that. Yeah. And uh, the week before that, we watched Action USA, and we yes, said we there did. was one comment that we wanted to hear from Action, Action Dude. Dude. Yeah! <laughs> Action it's only Dude. right. It's only that, right. But now who's writing in now? Uh, Action Dude says William Smith, was also, who's in Action USA, yes. was also great opposite Clint Eastwood in any which way you can. If you like seeing characters <laughs> serve each other knuckle sandwiches, this movie and the original, Every Which Way But Loose, every which will way wet but your loose. whistle. There's fucking orangutan. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I know I've seen it. I've seen them, and yeah. it's something else. What's the name of the orangutan? Fuck. Don't I know I knew this I like for a lot of my life. I put that orangutan in a promo. Yeah. God damn it. I don't remember. <laughs> damn it. Clyde? Let me Maybe. Get the, I think I, it might do, be Clyde. Do you think it's a I think you might be right. question? It, it probably might be. Is. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. you might be right. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to go around the table. We're going to tell you what we thought of Colin, you haven't gone first in a while, I don't think. What do you think about tonight's movie, Orphan? Uh, it's a much better movie than it should be. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's a Joel Silver Dark Joel Castle Silver production. Um, God bless him. Which those are known, like, you know you're going to get, you know, there you go, they should tie into the movie house, right? The, yes. The well-designed the architecture. Mm-hmm. We ever, I think on one of the past ones, like, he's a big architecture guy. Yep. Right? Like um, blowing it up, too. Yeah, that too. <laughs> and so any Joel Silver horror movie is going to have, like, an awesome house. Uh, this one does, but Okay aesthetics aside mm-hmm. it's like a, i thought uh you know uh, i guess as i said before the character um development in the movie is what really kind of makes it work uh the twist i guess i it's you know i it earns it you know it's not like i didn't see it coming it just kind of confirmed what you were suspecting and that's kind of the best way you know yeah cuz mm-hmm. it's it's not it's not a huge thing it's not a complete Three, yeah, it doesn't come out of nowhere, no, and you're like, oh my doesn't. god, it changes the whole movie. Yeah, no, before. it doesn't do that. I like that, those too. I do, you know? I do, but it, the fact that it doesn't is really good. Yeah, this movie. one was like, I can't confirm what I think until finally it's confirmed, and you're like, aha. And I guess it gives you that kind of feeling as the audience of like, aha, I was paying it attention. It does. It's like, I have ah. been rewarded with it. I mean, I, I yelled. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But that's Throw what they're hoping up. for. Uh, in the theater, probably that was a cheer. They used crowd reaction footage for the trailers for this movie after it had been out for a few weeks i remember oh, that I'll, yeah because there is there is a couple moments yeah it's uh it's tense it's exciting um it's clearly directed by an a-, a guy with who would later become an action movie director i bet all those scenes are just the people reacting to the roses scene it's Maybe. probably all you'll be like oh that's what the reaction that could be 
I mean, right. It's not any of the actual horror. It's the roses. Yeah, it's just like 50 people going, fuck. <laughs> You're oh, probably no, right. Oh, no, she didn't. Yeah. yeah. Like, whoa. Yeah, yeah, because that's got to, like, that is a big reaction. Yeah, I bet. That's a yeah. big bomb right yeah. there, yeah. Um, oh. But, yeah, it's uh, very well made, well executed, well performed, well written, well directed uh, horror movie. Um and it became a, a phenomenon. So I mean, yeah, I think uh, everybody's right. You gotta, you gotta see Orphan. Holly, what'd you think? Yeah, no, I somehow I avoided knowing anything about this movie, <laughs> um, and I really didn't know. Like, I, I had an idea. Movie called Orphan. I had an idea what we're getting into, and I think we talked about it a little bit on the boy. It's come um, up. I, I think, yeah, I, episodes here. Yeah, yeah. to, to be honest, I don't remember any of that. So uh, <laughs> you, you could have spoiled it for me then. I have no <laughs> idea. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I was not sure what to expect from this as far as how good it was going to be. I, I really did not see that coming. You know, Colin, you're right. It's it's well directed. It's well produced. It, it, it's just it's very well acted. Everyone in this movie is spectacular and the mm-hmm. writing is so much better than I anticipated. Um, yeah, this was a really good movie. Um, start to finish. It's it's. It it never lost me. I know, you know, we were saying earlier that some people had complaints about like the pace of it. I don't think so. I never felt the. I never felt how long this was. I thought you it was almost said. I never felt the length. Yeah, I'm not I gonna know. do it. I heard, it. I, heard, <laughs> I, heard, I heard your change. I heard. Yeah, mid sentence you st- took you a left did. turn mid real hard. You made a turn. Yep. You're goddamn right. <laughs> um, yeah, I I thought it was great. I I was really excited that I I called the the twist because Colin has made it clear I have to call it out loud. Yeah, you know, <laughs> these, are the, these are the rules. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> apparently. So how long is this movie? I can't tell. It's an hour forty seven, I think. Okay. Okay. Yeah. One hundred twenty three minutes. Yeah, well, I remember. Yeah. Oh, hours. two hours, two hours and, three and three minutes. minutes. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's crazy. It's long, but you know, it doesn't crazy. feel like it at all. But yeah, I recommend the hell out of it. This was a great movie, for sure. Not what I was expecting, but I, I really enjoyed it. it. gave me what... Like you were saying... With the, with the twist, like it, it's a sa- it's you call it, but it's satisfying. Like you're not mad that you but called it's, it. It's not key to the yeah. rest of the. It doesn't change anything. It's yeah, not key you're to not the- like, well, I saw that coming. No, like it's it's satisfying that you called it. Um, yeah, good movie. Recommend it for sure. Sean, what did you think? Uh, I am angry that I ignored this movie. <laughs> I am angry. But you had your too. first experience here though with us, so yeah, yeah and like, I am grateful for mm-hmm. that. Because um, I think, or I think this is a great movie. Yeah, I legitimately. This is. I'm. I'm surprised by it. I'm. I'm maybe mad at the advertising, but I'll. But it's also more probably me. Um, I. This. This is great. This mm-hmm. is. Um, it's so well acted. Vera Farmiga. Everyone is is perfectly cast in this movie. Uh, up to uh, uh, the the main star is down to the. To the kids, um, everyone's doing so good in this movie. Like, yeah, did we even talk about how this the little girl Max little girl, is like the, the deaf, fucking hero she's of this movie? Great, yeah. she, Man, she's from, good. She has an arc, and she's deaf, and she doesn't say a word in this movie. And I, I um, this movie went Such to. A good girl. I think there is care in this movie. It feels like there's care in this movie. There's a scene in this movie where Vera Farmiga tells uh, a bedtime story to. Max it's and I think sad. it's one of the like I'm, I'm I'm I may break out in tears talking about it right now. It's so good within the context of the movie, also because it's made as a it's made from the perspective of Max. It is a it's a deaf moment. It's silent. Yeah, there's yeah. no, there's no, no, no sound, sound effects. No, no, no sound effect. Yeah. No sound. No anything. <clears throat> and it's a fantastic moment between these two people. Mm-hmm. The story she tells, how it relates to. The daughter that they had a stillbirth with, and it I was mean, this was a book that she was reading. So I yeah, don't, I don't know if this is a real children's book. I, I it, believe it if, is because they, is, they like, do cover those subjects and all okay, that. But yeah. I, I believe it is. But the way she, because Vera Farmiga has got to do it in sign language, and she does it in such a beautiful way, yeah. especially when she describes heaven and everything. Like to have that scene alone in this movie mm-hmm. is fantastic. But that acting carries over to the rest of the movie. Everyone's and like you may get into some parts where you, I mean, run into cliches as far as like believing the main character when it comes to the, you know, crazy things happen. The main character knows what's going on, but nobody believes her. We get into those situations. But because these actors, the way they handle it, 
Um, it, it's so well done, and I kind of believe everyone's perspective and pull on what they're doing here. And the uh, the director and and everyone who's doing this movie obviously knows what they're doing with these characters and in these scenes. I think this is such a well put together movie in all aspects. I'm. Uh, I, I I I really like this movie. It's I love this I was movie. Like, you're it's, speechless. I, yeah. I, I kind of am. I'm surprised. As, I'm also surprised, like, because the brutality of it and what we get, um, the endings we get with these characters, like with um, Sarsgaard, like yeah. his arc into this and where he ends up, it becomes a little much when he gets wine drunk in the middle of this movie and starts wandering around uh, envisioning things. But his ending with Esther is so brutal it's sad it, it, and it's sad yeah, there's a yeah, yeah. there is it's emotion really in the in the deaths in this movie mm -hmm. which you don't get with or what I think you don't get with movies of this era and where they're maybe a little callous with how they deal with their characters and their endings but I felt like the emotion was so much uh, with so many of these characters and how they ended um, this is a very well this movie is very well taken care of with its characters. Um, I think you get so much out of them um, just as regular people. But when we get into the, like the meaty parts of a horror movie, mm -hmm. like it means so much more because of what we got from them. The, I, this is a great movie. I recommend everyone substance. watch this. Mm -hmm. There is substance to this movie. Substance. And I love that <laughs> because it doesn't look like a movie where you're going to get substance out of it. And you get so much. Um, it's yeah, it's a meal of a movie. I was very satisfied with it. Mm -hmm. You should all watch it. This is, I think this is great. So I recommend Orphan, Michaela, take us home. You know, Colin, I think what you said it best when you said that, like, this movie has no business being as good as it is. It doesn't. Uh, because, yeah, it should be like a Lifetime movie, you know. But I I think, and it's kind of amazing that this movie, it holds up on a rewatch. It shouldn't. Mm -hmm. This should be a one and done, but it's actually a lot of fun to keep well, rewatching it. The, oh, if I may interrupt, it's almost like the perspective I went in with it mm -hmm. because I knew... Yeah, I knew the ending, right. or I knew what that. Right. So it yeah. feels like a rewatch to it, mm -hmm. right. and the fact that it it does do what it does yeah. throughout this is amazing. Yeah, you know, I just watched this like three weeks ago because, um, so during October I just put on AMC when I go to bed and whatever Fear Fest is on. That's what I'm watching for the night. That's how I end up watching like Halloween Five like three times <laughs> in a month. But yeah, exactly. it's gonna seep in yeah, your yeah, and you're like yeah. It. I I like it more and more every time I watch it. But um, <laughs> but I, the atmosphere yeah. it inhabits your body. And, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've really come around to Cookie Woman, you know? It's yeah, just... Yeah, it's, that's, yeah, again, that's a future Halloween costume yeah. for me. I'm going to dress as Cookie Woman at some point. But it... And I, I couldn't sleep one night and I woke up and Orphan was on and it was in the middle of it and it was right before the part where they have the sex scene in the kitchen and then she says yeah. they fuck. I was like, oh my God, yes, it's at the best part. Love this. <laughs> I'm going to sit up and watch Orphan. So I stayed up and watched Orphan until it was over with, <laughs> like three in the morning. But I was like, oh, how are they going to censor this? How are they going to censor this? I love TV censorship. <laughs> and so, first of all, the sex scenes cut down a lot. Oh, sure. Sure. So, yeah. a then it turns into the quickness. Um, and it's a get. lot more close-ups and not wide shots. Like, mm. it's a lot of just like faces and like shoulders and like stuff like that. <laughs> sure. Is it yeah. a lot more shots? Like, did they? It's no, I think they're just cut in. I think they're just cropped in a lot more. They'll take because, like, he, Peter Skarsgård, you see a lot of him in that. Mm. Like, but, um, he's very enthusiastic. And, and I'm like, ooh, how are they gonna, how are they gonna censor? They fuck. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I was so goddamn disappointed. First of all, that like ADR voice acting was like a way higher pitched voice, which is always funny when they mm -hmm. do that. But she goes, they kiss. And I was like, that is not the same. Oh my as God. They fuck. <laughs> like, because then the whole conversation that Vera Farmiga has after that makes no sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 And they, that scene was cut down a lot. It was basically just her being like, I don't know where she heard that from. Why she they, shouldn't know that. And that's basically where the scene ends. They should have changed it to like, they screw. Yeah. You know, something like yeah, that. They yeah. They, you know, no, like, the, the yeah. They bang. They, you know, because they make love. The thought process is just to censor, not what, whether that not context, should, yeah. Yeah, makes sense within the context of yeah. anything coming yeah. later. But yeah, it's it, so don't watch the TV edit unless you like <laughs> want a good laugh. But, but you're, I'm sure the TV edit's got to be way shorter because I'm sure they trimmed down all the violence and the sex. Oh it's got, I can't yeah. believe this is a two hour movie. Yeah. Yeah. And, because they got to fit it in a two hour yes. time slot. God. But, I'm with it every minute. No, this movie's fantastic. I love that it continues to have a life. I love that it had like a second wave cult following and now people recognize it as like the iconic movie that it is. And I love that it's big budget. It's well done. It's expensive. And it's like, it's just even, even though you know, 
that like something's wrong with her and you know you don't know <laughs> it's literally yeah. there's something wrong with Esther <laughs> like you don't know if it's like a mental thing you don't know if it's a demon possession you don't know yeah. if yeah right but where it could go even if you do even if you do guess that she's like an older person pretending to be a kid you're still not going to guess that she's going to try and give her dad a hand job you know what I'm saying so like there's little surprises <laughs> along the way and that's, that make uh, it worth watching right the, the, that the movie doesn't depend on the twist yeah exactly mm-hmm. there's right. other shocking moments along yeah. The way that it will catch you off guard. Like, who would have thought the biggest scare in the movie would be someone holding out roses to someone else? Right. You know that? Like, the, or, like oh. that hit hurt. Oh, the, <laughs> yeah, the, that is the most I felt that <gasps> moment. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I felt that. So oh. <laughs> Uh, you gotta recommend. You gotta see it. I definitely recommend it. Like even if you feel like you know what this movie is, you don't you know don't. the quality of it. You get so it. much from it. And even like like I said, the relationships between the characters are really believable and well done, and they're fun to watch, and it mm-hmm. makes you invested. I mean, the house is beautiful to look at. Mm-hmm. The, the yes, snow if looks. Else. Yeah, the scenery you get movie looks house. good. Yeah, mm-hmm. I really liked um, when she's racing back to the house. You get some really cool edits of the car driving. Mm-hmm. You get a camera that's like the like Google Street View on top of the car. Mm-hmm. There's you some get, good like, editing in this movie. In. Yeah, it's interesting. It's really good. Yeah. yeah, it's because it and the you, camera work. Yeah, yeah. It's really it's good. good. It's yeah. good. It's 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 a higher quality product than you probably are expecting. So it was for me. Definitely it was recommend for me. it. Yep. Right. I I still say it garners a trigger warning at the beginning. Yeah, sure. That yeah. is a hell it of a cold really open. It really does. I mean, if, if you've suffered loss watching Orphans, probably a yeah, you know yeah. a gamble anyway. Yeah, but yeah. that's a rough open. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. trigger warning. Yeah, very, you guys were surprised that she had a uh, they had other kids. You thought yes. it was just gonna be an only yeah. child. Yeah. Situation. yeah, I was very surprised. I guess maybe that's the cliche. Yeah, and that's what we were kind discussing of that a lot me about the movie that yeah. it didn't yeah. fall into that. And you know? I think they knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that surprised me. You know, uh, because the way they reveal the kids, it feels like it was a reveal yeah, yeah. So that's like oh I you think have they, other I think kids. they knew yeah. what they were doing yeah, because uh-huh. they, they lead with the stillbirth to make you think that they don't have any kids right yeah. and, and maybe that's how most characters in horror movies will go into it like oh a single like uh, man mm-hmm. and woman couple yeah. is like their first child it's like mm-hmm. no they have experience with this and yeah I think it gives them more credibility when they when they come up to points where it's just like this is not normal right because they've experienced normal with two kids for so long mm-hmm. yeah. they'll notice the uh the unusual things that happen in this you movie. know the thing that I guess as you were talking about that scene between um, the uh, mother and the daughter, mm-hmm. you know, and I'm like, and this guy wrote two of the three Conjuring movies, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, did he write, is he responsible for injecting like the, the fam familial warmth into the, because con- that is like part Probably. of the appeal I, of the Conjuring the, yes, movies. Is the I, I would say between- it is the appeal. I would say it's the only appeal of the Conjuring movies is that Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga have a really good chemistry together yeah. and they make two Two notable grifters likable. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, yeah that that's very true. That sells those yeah. it's very I wonder true. if it's his right. I wonder if he's the guy who writes those scenes. You know, Maybe. he's always like co writer on I wonder those what movies, the, right. Plus, I wonder what the like if he's, <clears throat> Maybe he's good the at relationship that, you know? with Vera Farmiga, especially right. working like, together the, sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyway, that uh, sounds like uh, that was a freak show approved. I think all so. Keep said. talking about it. it seems so, like yeah, 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 yeah. we're just like and another thing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I think, yeah, Orphan is a That's definite. Four very enthusiastic thumbs I think up. So. Yep. <laughs> so you're obligated contractually by listening yes. to this episode to watch it. Carve out some time. All right. Next week we're gonna watch a movie that's chosen by Colin. What are we going to watch next week? I think uh, we're going to try this out. We're going to uh, watch it. We're going to explore the the superstardom, the 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 man, the myth, the legend, Bruce Lee. We're going to watch oh. uh, Enter the Dragon. Ooh. All right. Ooh. Okay. I have not seen it. Oh. All right, then. All right. There you go. All right. Uh, I've so probably seen parts of it, but not the whole thing. Probably sure. have. Yeah. But now you're going to get like the, the, the experience. The whole experience. Yeah. Yes. The whole okay. experience. All right. So enter the dragon next week. Until then, we hope you'll join us. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark.